How's it going? Merciless Vaughn here, back with another Bleach Brave Souls video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Christmas Noel from the Burn the Witch collaboration banner that just left not too long ago. Before I left, I did a couple more multis and I managed to pull her. So yeah, I'm going to be showcasing her. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, please leave a like if you're new to the channel or been here for a while. Also, please consider subscribing. And so without wasting any more time, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So this Christmas Noel has the no affiliation affiliation and her killers are hollow and no affiliation. And I did get her SP slot to level 10 and her soul trait is strong attack recharge time minus 12%. Taking a look at her skills here, she is a ranged unit with weakening on all of her abilities, and she has the Revive Soul Bomb. Her innate skills are Sprinter plus one, have a 20%. Guard Break, her skills are Increased Strong, Increased Normal Attack Damage 20%, Increased Strong Attack Damage 60%, her basic 60% minus 80% due to the links, and the Increased Strong Attack cooldown 36% because of the links I have. I did get her T15, so she does have that 25% full stamina damage boost. She, has also, she also has Increased Super, Power Link Slot Potions plus 5, so she is a unit that you can use in the IT to get those extra Super Link Slots and Increased Power Link Slots plus 5. She has Frenzy plus 1, Bombardment plus 1, Defibrillator plus 5 seconds. She has Increased Status Element Chance against Power Attribute Hollows and No Affiliation Enemies. And she has the status element spiritual pressure boost 80%. When you inflict a status element, you get 80% more spiritual pressure. And so, yeah, the rest of these stats are from the accessories that I'm using, which are the no affiliation strong attack damage accessory, fortification pill, hunting cap with all 30% spiritual pressure rolls. And the links I'm going to be using are my Azashiro, Retsu, and the Saikamon Aizen. My Azashiro is 5 out of 5 with the 500 spiritual pressure boost in the last slot. And my Retsu's first spiritual pressure level is at 10. So I am getting lots of spiritual pressure from these two units. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take her into IT and IZ to see what kind of damage she can do. Alright, so here we are in Inheritance Zone. I don't have kill here, so just keep that in mind. Here's her basic normal attack string, nothing major really. And as for her strong attack, starting with her SA1, I will put the details up somewhere on the screen. So that's her SA1. And as for her SA2. Last but not least, her SA3, standard full screen. And we did proc the spiritual pressure boost for inflicting a status element. And so yeah, all in all, this is a really solid character. She's a super link slot unit, so you can use her in the IT. She has a status element spiritual pressure boost, 80%. But you really want to use her against enemies you have killer because if you don't use her against enemies that you have killer against, you're basically wasting that increased status element chance against the unit she has killer against. So you probably don't want to take her into the current IT because, well, they do have no affiliation unit, but there's also Soul Reaper units in there. So you'll probably really struggle against those Soul Reaper bosses. But other than that, yeah, she will be great to use. Dare practice spiritual pressure boost. So yeah, hopefully you did get lucky and pulled a couple of the units from that Burn the Witch banner if you did with some summons. And so I hope there is no other banner that I will try to summon on before Anniversary gets here. So maybe they release enough trap banners, but probably not. All 
Alright, so here we are in IT. I will have kill earners, so she will be doing that extra damage from the killer effect. And so I will also be taking advantage of that increased data element chance against no affiliation enemies. So she has a higher chance to proc that 80% spiritual pressure boost from inflicting a status element. And so yeah, this IT, she is really good. You probably don't want to use her if you're only one out of five if you have her five five you can definitely use her because she probably won't struggle that much against those soul reaper bosses since she well is like max transcendent but if you only have one copy you still want to use her you definitely can you probably just want to bring somebody with the soul reaper killer just in, so you won't struggle against those bosses in it and if you are farming the epic raid for those pots you can definitely use her in that too but yeah, she's a really, really strong unit. She's definitely top tier speed units. But in my opinion, speed is seriously lacking. So there's not a lot of those. But the ones that are there are pretty good. And just for the sake of showing her revive mechanic. There, as you can see, it said protected, so I'm just going to go ahead and get myself killed here so I can revive. They're having a hard time killing me. Alright, as you can see, I revived with about, with about 50% health. And so, yeah, that's basically a revive mechanic on her alt. But because I did that, I did lose my spirit, my full stamina damage boost. So I won't be doing as much damage anymore. But even without it, she can still do a lot. all right so yeah that was a pretty brief showcase using this unit um yeah she's good she's definitely top tier guard break have it base 60 percent berserker wing slot unit bombardment she also has a status element spiritual pressure boost and she has a chance to inflict status element against uh affiliated enemies which are hollow and no affiliations so yeah, it's easier to practice spiritual pressure boost once you go against hollows and no affiliation units because uh, you have that increased chance to inflict status ailments compared to her counterpart with the hollow killer as a shiro. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a character you probably could rather use. He does have guard break, bombardment as well, frenzy plus one and havoc. But here he has complete status immunity and he can still dodge the hollow damage 50% of the time. But he does have this counterattack skill when you do dodge a enemy attack, but that is based off your attack and not your SP. So just do keep that in mind. But yeah, if this is a character you want to use, then you can definitely use her in this IT. But anyways, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as usual, until next time.